Hi, it's Pat Patterson with the Best of California Award, and I'm here in Lancaster with this incredible Helms truck that this guy made. I'm here with David Shelby, Critical Car Care out in Lancaster, and David, Tell me about this truck. How did you find it? Well, uh, I found it uh, just driving down the local street about almost 30 years ago. I just found it uh, on the side and I seen it and uh, I just had to buy it. You had to have a donut. Yeah. <laughs> so I bought it and restored it and here's this is where I'm at today. And it's a beautiful project. I mean, if you, you will show you around, but David has left a lot of the original stuff and there was even you're going to show me some of the materials are still left with a sign and, and I can't believe the, the changer was. Oh yeah, the coin changer was still left in it. It was broken, but uh, I left the wood in the back all the same. Gorgeous. And in fact, you could still smell donuts if you open it up. You good wow. old glazed donuts wow. smell and head pies and, and cakes. And and this is uh, one of the one of the uh, wrappers yeah. for the bread. And I remember the story that the Helms Bakery was part of the 19th 32 Olympics in oh, yeah. Los Angeles. That was their big claim to fame. Yeah. And this is just incredible. And show us the money changer. Where's the money Oh, the money changer is down here. And I, this so, actually so came the, with it. The driver would have this wrapped yeah. around this on his we belt. Have it on the side. Yeah. Because yeah. everything was less than a dollar. Yeah, but, yeah, buddy. Yeah. And what is this up here? Tell now, me. that there was, uh, it's, that's where they put their specials, but when I purchased that, that's the way it came. It was, it I never had, erased it. It had cold drinks, candy, tortillas, yep. cookies, cakes. Wow. And you said this had been somebody had taken house paint and painted over Oh, they, they rolled over the whole car, whole, the whole entire truck, and you could read it from the side. You could still see Belfort. Wow. Yeah. So that was your, your that was your detective mission to dig into the archaeological dig this is right. exactly plus on the windows were the licensing and uh, the, some of them say Southgate San Gabriel and my favorite is Linwood California because I was born there. there you go and that had to be one of the trucks wow. tell me about this trailer David well this trailer is a 1955 rod and reel made in Cypress California and I've owned it for a while and uh, I restored the inside, the wood was rotted, the floor and the back and the sidings were, they punched holes in it. And I did a lot of cool stuff. Wow, yeah. and, and so, and you mentioned it had been picked and you'd restored. Oh, and they picked I, the sides. I put new sides on it from here down and I even made the paint look like it was weathered. And then I put I satin that. clear over that. And, and rust. And rusty paint rust in the front, on, yes. On the, mm -hmm. uh, the propane tank yep. and all that good stuff. And so now, do you take this to shows? Do you do you live in it? Is yeah, you right. Live, David? <laughs> yeah, no, hopefully not. But yeah, we take it to shows, and uh, uh, it's a hit when you go yeah. anywhere. Uh, back in the COVID days, we would go to the restaurants because they yeah. were closed, right. and they would deliver food to us in the mall parking wow, lot, and on. we were the only one there wow. eating dinner in this thing. So now, what draws you to these older vehicles and trailers and whatnot? Is it? Nostalgia from your childhood? Is yeah, it, is you that? know, uh, believe it or not, my family traveled almost every weekend to the High Sierras. Okay. And it was in one of these. Okay. And I can tell you stories and a half yeah. about it. And yeah. uh, that's just me right now. And my son okay. is the same. He's okay. he's, gr he's grown so up in like the same the outdoors, era. obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you love to get out there. Well, we're going to show you a little bit of the interior of this incredible rod and reel trailer from 1955. Yeah, 1955. It's almost as old as I am. Let's take a look. David, this is this is your living room and your kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> home and sweet home. what kind of shape was this in when you... Um, it was ugly. I have pictures before. And uh, in fact, some of the... Uh, in, the sink is original. The stove is still original. Okay. And the Dixie stove. Yeah. Man. That was in the 50s. the kind. And then the Marvel uh, refrigerator still works. I plugged it in first and Come that's all. It still wow. works. So. Wow. And the, we left the, everything is uh, like, original uh, that we had. The only thing I had to do was the wood. Okay. It was all uh, uh, dry rotted. Okay. And is, this, is this new? Is this I did this. That, it's the same table, but. This looks old. I did a design back. Some marbling. If you was to do that, yeah. Yeah, wow. And uh, we did the flooring. I stained the wood because it's new to match the old wood. Okay. So there's not a big variance yeah. of uh, a difference. Yeah. yeah. Well, here we are in, in David Shelby's 
Rod and Reeler 1955 trailer. Well, thank you, David Shelby, Critical Car Care here in Lancaster, Helms Truck, Rod and Reel Trailer. You're a mid-century modern maven. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for coming down and look, checking us out. You bet, you bet.